think I'm ever going to see my money for the headpiece. I just want my dresses back. More developments tonight in the battle between several women in a bridal consignment shop. That fight reaching a new boiling point today in Aurora. The women claim the Aurora consignment store owner has taken their wedding dresses and accessories, sold them, and then kept all the money for herself. They tell 7 News the owner's giving them the runaround, and today they went back out for answers. 7 News reporter Jennifer Kovaleski is live now, and Jennifer, even police showed up at that store today. Teresa, one of the women called police, hoping it would pressure the owner to show up to give them some of their stuff or their money, but instead they went home empty handed with even more questions. This is a lot of people that have done business with her that have yet to see money or the truth. All these women want are answers. She has about seven of my dresses of my daughters and she was supposed to have sold them. A handful showing up at this bridal consignment shop in Aurora trying to get their dresses back. But instead of answers, they found the Something Borrowed Bridal Company closed, doors locked, and still no response from this woman, owner Tiffany Caden. Thank you for calling Something Borrowed Bridal Company. We are located at 2680 South Havana Street. We tried calling Caden too. Oh. She picked up. Hi, is this Tiffany? This is. But then hung up on us. My daughter's dresses are like right there behind this <laughs> other dress. I see them and I, I just want the dresses back. I've been trying to get my dress and my shoes back for a week now. I've been trying to get my money for a couple of months now from the headpiece. So she Adelstein says she decided to consign her dress in hopes of recouping some of the money. She ended up signing this contract, giving the store permission to sell her dress, shoes and headpiece. Under the agreement, the two would split the sale with 60% going back to the consigner. But Adelstein says that's not what happened. Couldn't get a straight answer about what was going on. Where was the check? Adelstein says she was never paid. Frustrated, she asked for her dress and shoes back. Finally, she says Caden told her she could pick them up on Saturday, but no one showed up. Call the cops and uh, try to have her show up at the same time and just open the store so we can try to retrieve our wedding goods. Now these women say they want people to know the truth about something borrowed. If me doing this kind of stuff means that she's not going to be in business again, I'm fine with not seeing the money for the headpiece. Aurora police have said this is a civil issue and not a criminal matter. As for Caden, she did call me back, but only to say she has hired an attorney and will not speak with us. She did tell our Call 7 investigators the check was in the mail and this was an isolated incident. Reporting live in the newsroom tonight, Jennifer Kowaleski, 7 News.